All right. Hey, good morning. This is me, Jonathan Edwards. Uh, jumping right into this. This is, uh, this is a really simple way to export photos from your videos in your timeline with Final Cut Pro 10. And, uh, and right off the bat, what I have done is, uh, just to save a little time, I've already marked uh, my timeline. You can see down here, I've already set markers uh, for all the all the photos that I would like to export. All right, and the other thing I've done is I have created two folders in the same inside of the folder where I keep the original media because, I mean, what's the point of doing all of this if you're not organized and you can't find anything you've done in six months so yeah there's two folders here one for XML and one for exported stills from Final Cut Pro and first thing we're gonna do is well you're gonna mark your timeline so you're gonna find all the places where you want your you know where you want this frame so this frame I want to be exported as a photo and this frame I would like to be exported as a photo and this one you just go through and mark up your timeline really quick. Then you go to File, Export, XML, and what we're going to do is we're going to export XML to the folder we just created. So go into that folder, and we will select the XML right here. Save. And save again. Boom. Now we have created our XML. Now our next step is simply to, we're going to open this, we're going to go back into the folders right here. We're going to put them right there. And there's this application, Final Cut Pro 10 Image Exporter. And I bought this on the App Store. It is $5. And oh yeah, it is it's five dollars to save me a lot of time um, it I mean I, it, it's five dollars screw it so step one drag the XML uh, or click to browse what I'm just gonna do is since I have the folder open already I'm just gonna drag that XML right in there and you could see that it's already found all of the markers and then drag the output folder. Well, I'm just going to drag exported stills right into that. And then I'm just going to hit export. Things popping up. Boom. They're done. And now we have a stack of photos that we can now either import into Lightroom to edit or you know use as reference or create a thumbnail or wh whatever it is you want to do with the photos now you have them and you're good to go